Hello, fellow basketball officials. This is Tony Schrepfer, Director of Officials at the MYAS, with our mid-season basketball officials check-in. Over the last couple of months, I've been out and about doing some evaluations of officials, and during that time, these are some of my observations that I'd like to share with you. I've seen some really good officiating, but here are a few things we could work on to get better. Let's make sure we're wearing proper uniform and that our partners match. Please, both of you wear shorts or both of you wear pants. Let's not have one pants and one short, right? So just match what your partner's wearing. Um, also, I've seen some officials with white undershirts. Let's make sure that that shirt's black, right? So it's black undershirt and then your ref shirt. So, um, And then obviously, you know, black socks and black shoes. That's our attire. Um, again, proper uniform is, is key because that's where earning credibility right away and how we look. When it comes to hustle, we're still not getting up and down the court when the play dictates we have to move with pace. So let's make sure we're matching play. If the team's bringing the ball up the court is walking with the ball, then walk with them. Make sure you get that count, right? Use that count, that good 10 second backcourt count. And if they're on a fast break, then we need to move with better pace. You know, let's get up across half court when they're at the basket. I see a lot of guys still at the 28 foot line of the backcourt. That's not good. Um, so again, let's match play. If they're going quick, we got to go with them. If they're walking, let's walk with them and we'll get breaks because they're going to get tired too, right? And that way, when you're moving with the play, you're going to be in a good position and you'll see the play and you'll have higher accuracy on your calls. Talking about, talking about calls when making your calls, let's make sure that we're using the proper mechanics as that will help sell your call. Again, no need to be in a hurry. Right? Proper mechanics is the first line of communication with the players, coaches, and yes, even the fans. Right? Everyone, everybody wants to know what the call was. Um, and we're only talking to players and coaches after that, right? not the fans. If a player or coach has a question about a call, give them your answer, then move on. It's not a debate. right? Just talk with the coach, hey, this is what I saw, coach, and then move on to the next play. right? Because communication is one of our best tools, so let's be great communicators. That starts with the pregame meeting. I didn't see many pregame meetings going on after the first game of the day, but if you can squeeze one in, it only takes about a minute, right? I know games are one after another, but you're looking at that clock at the one minute mark, just grab both coaches and say, hey, you know, if you guys have any questions throughout the game, by all means, you know, let us know and then we'll give you an answer, but we're going to get back to work, right? Um, it does go a long way when you open that line of communication with the coaches early. Remember, we're building credibility as officials. Looked apart by wearing proper uniform. Hustle to get in good position to see the play. Use proper mechanics so players and coaches know what you're calling. And be a great communicator throughout the game. If you're doing those four things well throughout the game, you should be in pretty good shape. Just make sure to work with the coaches throughout the game. Thanks for your commitment to officiating. Officiating is a tough job, but if you're doing it correctly, it's really enjoyable. Um, again, working youth basketball is really where we learn how to officiate, as we get to see lots of plays and build our knowledge of the rules as officials. Let's make sure to stay with the process and learn from one another as our partners help us to become better officials. Just a few things to note about our upcoming NYS tournaments. You know, we still have about five weekends left before our grade state tournament, so let's finish strong going into grade state. Again, plenty of work to be had, so make sure that you're reaching out to your assigners about weekend work. Um, our first grade state tournament is going to be the girls grade state, and that's going to be February 25th and 26th. Our first round of boys grade state, and that's grades third through sixth, will be March 4th and 5th. And then our boys grade state 7th and 8th grade will be on the 11th and 12th. So there's going to be plenty of sites throughout the metro area. So again, reach out to your assigner. Um, you'll also make sure that you have to be MYS certified to work those great state events. So um, make sure to please complete that. And if you know an official that has it, make sure that they get in and get her done. Registration still open. Also, Rec State is going to be the 18th and 19th of March. And then our spring series starts right after 
the rec state so it starts march 25th and runs through the end of june so again i do appreciate your uh your commitment to being a youth basketball official and without you there would be no game so um take pride in your job again have fun while you're out there smile when you're doing those things you know games seem to go a little better for for people um so just make sure you enjoy yourself that way teams are enjoying themselves and you get less grief i don't know doesn't work always but try your best and you know again call the falls right safety is the number one concern for all that participate in youth sports doesn't matter if it's basketball or if it's football but safety is the number one concern so let's make sure that we're calling the falls that need to be called other than that again finish strong and uh we'll see you on the court thanks